Hello, hello, and good evening. I believe that you had a lovely week. It is, we are already in the month of August. The Lord has been good. He has been faithful, and we thank God for his love, his kindness, and his grace. And uh, it is three days to the elections, and here at Wema TV, we are saying to Fanya elections, Bila Noma. Let us preach peace kindly on Tuesday, wake up early in the morning, go cast your vote, and go back to the house. Let us wait for the result, and let us maintain peace. Let us remember that even after these elections, there is life after that. And Kenya will remain to be our country. So, karibuni sana to tonight. So, this is Kapo's Will Show. And this is where we write down our love with while we are alive. For we don't want our love story to be read when we are six feet under. Neither we want our love story to be read when we are gone. And that is why every Friday we come here to tackle issues concerning relationships and marriage. And tonight, we are going to have a lovely topic. I want us to talk about long distance relationships. If you're out there and you maybe you're married, your spouse is living far away from you, how do you handle that? And that is what we'll be talking about. But before then, I have ordered a book, Couples Will. Have you gotten yourself a copy? If you haven't, my friend, you're not doing yourself justice. So kindly get in touch with me and order your copy. You can call a number, this number, 0723-214-047. The number is down there on your screen. You can call that number and we'll be able to plan how you will get your copy. A copy is going for one thousand kenya shillings only yes and my name is willie kinyash and uh, ukipenda you can call me dr love and out there they call me the undisputed and tonight i am delighted to have grace karaoke she is my good friend and she is a psychologist and we are going to have a wonderful time even as we talk about long distance relationships karibu sana hi grace <laughs> hi will good to have you here <laughs> i am so happy to be here today i think the last time the last time you were here it mm. is a year plus yes it's been a while yes it's, it's been, been a, a while. while i remember you were here and we were talking about uh physical abuse yes in marriage absolutely and many many people were really helped by mm. that a discussion. So, Karibu Sana. Asante. And you can say hi to our viewers and yes. introduce yourself. Absolutely. Hello, viewer. My name is Grace Wanjiro Karioki, and I am a marriage and family therapist. That's what I studied, and that's what I do on a daily basis. A lot of passion for mental health and relationships, how our mental health is impacted by our relationships and how our relationships <laughs> impact our mental health. Yes. So I am happy to be here mm -hmm. and to be able to talk about this very important um, uh, discussion about long distance relationships. Yes. Because it's what we are seeing, the trend mm -hmm. these days, the, the world, we are, we are calling it a global village. Yeah. And so even our relationships in our families, mm -hmm. in our marriages are being impacted by yes. that. Yes. And so it's, it's a good conversation to have. Yeah. Yes. And the first question, will be yeah. do such relationship <laughs> last <laughs> now um the simple the simple answer is yes and no <laughs> Yes, and no. uh -huh. yes, because um, for a relationship to uh, to last mm -hmm. when it is long distance, mm -hmm. it, uh, people have to be intentional. Yeah, and you have to have mutual goals mm -hmm. or, on uh, relationship the relational goals. Yes, and uh, many of us we, mm -hmm. we we haven't grown up seeing that. Since mm -hmm. it, us we just saw parents, mm -hmm. we were you know being together. Yeah. We don't know how they uh, they navigated mm -hmm. life. Yes, and. And some of us, we saw that uh, our 
parents were not happy with each other, mm -hmm. but we that's what we know. Mm -hmm. It's normal. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, long distance relationships are not new mm -hmm. because when you think about it, mm -hmm. really, yeah. you know, daddy used to work in Nairobi and, and uh, mommy and the kids Shago. are in Ushago. Yes. So daddy only came at the end we of the can't. month. Yeah. Not even weekend, at the end, end of month. the month. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> and that's when we would see him. Mm -hmm. and, and so long distance relationships have been with us mm -hmm. for a long time. Yeah. Um, now, what we need to understand is the question that you asked mm -hmm. is that long distance relationships are not going to survive mm -hmm. unless there is intentional work on it. Mm -hmm. We need to sit down and ask, mm -hmm. how are we going to survive this? Because yeah. when you think about relationships, mm -hmm. we are seeking marriage, we are seeking relationships for three reasons. Yeah. Number one, companionship. Mm -hmm. So companionship means that you are mutuangu, yeah. you know, I, you, when I need you, you mm -hmm. are there, mm -hmm. that, you, that I can trust you, mm -hmm. that we, we are working together, mm -hmm. I'm loving you, you are loving me. Mm -hmm. And how do we develop that? Mm -hmm. We develop that through time spent. Yeah. Yeah, the, uh, relationships are not going to be able to survive if we are not intentionally spending time with each other. If we are not talking about how we are mm -hmm. with each other. Mm -hmm. So number two, we seek relationships because we need partnerships. Mm -hmm. So we need to create a family. Mm -hmm. I, have a, I have a legacy to live as a man. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to find uh, a woman who is going to be my partner in life. Mm -hmm. And me as a woman, I want to be able to nurture a yeah. family. Mm -hmm. I want to have kids. Mm -hmm. And I can't do that on my own. So I seek a relationship. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and to g if we are not uh, living uh, uh, intentionally, we are not having mutual goals, yeah. shared meanings mm -hmm. in life, mm -hmm. then we, uh, the, the partnership is not going to be very strong. Mm -hmm. So, and then the third thing, is that unataka mtu, the person who walks with you. Yes. So if Grace wants to do a PhD, mm -hmm. I have a partner with me who is celebrating that. Mm -hmm. You have written a book. I'm sure your, your spouse yes. was right there behind you. Yes, that yes. a person that you are able to say, hey, I'm thinking about this. Yeah. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Not a person that you come and say, you come and say you want to write a book mm -hmm. and they tell you, Ay, nani atasoma hiyo kitabu. Uh, you see, you want someone who is going to celebrate your goals mm -hmm. but Important. also at the same time mm -hmm. they become uh, the, a person that can give you uh, feedback mm -hmm. for you to grow yeah now, a lot of relationships, we are finding people are not giving each other mm -hmm. that kind of feedback. Yeah. We are cutting each other down. There, there are too many competitive relationships mm -hmm. that we are seeing. Mm -hmm. so, so for the long distance relationship to be able to last, mm -hmm. then the two people must understand mm -hmm. that in those three, three dimensions, yeah that they have to be on top of the game. Mm. Now, you cannot be able to create what you don't know. Yeah. That's why I gave those three. Reduces. So you guys who are in long distance relationships mm -hmm. and you want your relationship to thrive, mm -hmm. you need to understand what is a long distance relationship. What, what happens is that the, the partnership mm -hmm. actually becomes becomes the reason why we are together mm. because we have children mm -hmm. and we have a family to take care of yeah. so you you are over there but this companionship mm -hmm. the companionship is where we develop friendship yes is where we develop that connection emotional connection mm -hmm. it's where we are able to feel mm -hmm. that uh, that we are valued mm -hmm. and we are appreciated mm -hmm. and i i know you know men yes. want appreciation yes. women want to be valued yes. cherished mm -hmm. and to feel that they are they, they are being uh, they are feeling that they are connecting with their husbands yeah. men on the other hand mm -hmm. when they say that you do not respect me mm -hmm. what they are saying is that you don't appreciate me mm -hmm. and you don't affirm me mm -hmm. neither do i feel validated yeah. and we call that massaging the ego of the man uh -huh. which is it, it doesn't have to be negative mm -hmm. it, we just need to understand the needs of men and women in relationships mm -hmm. so 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 when we are thinking in terms of uh, uh, the, the man may be living away, women are looking for what we call security. Mm -hmm. So financial security, physical security, mm -hmm. but also emotional security. So long distance relationships, mm -hmm. they may provide financial security. security. And, and this <laughs> other two yeah. will be missing. <laughs> yes, because now the, the emotional security mm -hmm. means that 
that you are you are emotionally present with yes. me mm -hmm. so so we uh, the 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 intricacies of that mm -hmm. is where now we find there is an, a, a problem so long distance relationships if they are going to last mm -hmm. emotionally people have to stay connected mm -hmm. and uh, that connection is not going to just happen because i'm sending money home yeah. or because i'm taking care of his kids mm -hmm. no it's these conversations mm -hmm. that we have mm -hmm. throughout the day or however we we organize that because mm -hmm. some people will be uh, now, when we think about long distance relationship, we are thinking about people in the same country, yeah. but different cities. Mm -hmm. We are thinking about people within the same continent, mm -hmm. but different countries. Yes. We are also thinking about people in different continents. Mm -hmm. So when you are in a different continent, there is the issue of time difference. Mm -hmm. And then when you are in the same... So, so we have to kind of, first of all, define what is this long distance. Yes. yes. And, and talking about that, eh, I'm, I'm thinking, yeah. uh, maybe for people who are not yet married but yes. they, they they maybe they in courtship yes. can you have a, a long can you call this a long uh, distant relationship mm. whereby we have uh, someone from Gidurai yes uh, courting <laughs> someone in Karen <laughs> that's very interesting there, there was a time there was a time we had a show like that uh -huh. uh, and uh, and we asked that uh -huh. now th it was very interesting because uh -huh. the way that that question was was uh, was framed uh -huh. was like if you are if you are living in Karen uh -huh. that means that your level of your status is, is much much higher yes. and then you have someone you fall in love with somebody who lives in a in a, in a place like Igidurai uh -huh. uh, and and so like you have said uh -huh. so yes it can be uh -huh long distance but that means that it is it is long distance here <laughs> <laughs> yes. yeah status yes, <laughs> so to speak uh -huh. and uh, and you see the heart does not uh, discriminate where you come from mm -hmm. if it loves you it loves you now mm -hmm. in our in our uh, in our dispensation here in Kenya mm -hmm. lo, it can also we can also go tribal yeah you know yeah. you are you are a luo mm -hmm. that is in love with a kamba so that's <laughs> we can look yes. at that, but uh, mm -hmm. but, uh, but but that now we are talking about cultural mm -hmm. differences mm -hmm. and how do you navigate yeah. through that? Because mm -hmm. they are, you know, when when we talk about languages, mm -hmm. when I'm not talking about kikuyu na kijalu, mm -hmm. I'm not I'm talking about cultural languages. Yes. How how culturally mm -hmm. we do things mm -hmm. and how culturally you guys do things. Mm -hmm. So we also need to uh, now the young people today. Mm -hmm. They don't think like my generation, mm -hmm. where it was very clear cut. Mm -hmm. There are cultural things for Kikuyus, and there are cultural things for Luos, mm -hmm. or, or Luyas, or whoever. Yeah. So m us, in my generation, we grew up hearing our parents telling us, mm -hmm. if, you, 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 if you marry from a certain tribe, mm -hmm. you just be careful because of this and this of their practices. Mm -hmm. So I, I guess that's what you're yes, calling long yes. distance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, and there's something you've talked about, uh, you know, having that e emotional security. Yes. So what happens when now my spouse is not here, yes. she's far, mm -hmm. and I need someone who can give me that emotional security? Yeah. Uh, is it, and, and you'll find some people, mm -hmm. now this is where they will start thinking of now, having another yeah. partner yes yes looking for now another mm. person who mm. can come in mm. and fill that yes, gap yes how should we handle that now when you think about uh, having a, a replacement mm -hmm. a clan day mm -hmm. <laughs> so mm -hmm. to speak yes what, what we are saying really is mm. that uh, myself mm. i made a commitment mm. isn't that what we say during our wedding yes we say for better for worse, for, worse. Mm. for richer, for, for poor. poor. Mm. So, so if you are committed, if you have made the commitment mm. to this person mm. and this marriage, mm. you need to have very high level of mm. emotional emotional intelligence mm -hmm. so that you communicate your needs mm -hmm. because we know mm -hmm. if you look for someone else mm -hmm. it will always mm -hmm. trigger trouble yeah. your marriage is not going to be able to uh, uh, to assimilate mm -hmm. the pain of betrayal mm -hmm. because that is what happens because mm -hmm. you see when we get into a marriage what we are saying there are some things that I expect of you mm -hmm. the role that you play in my life mm -hmm. forsaking all others don't mm -hmm. we say that yeah. Forsaking all the all others, others. Yes. to you, I cling. Mm. So now I'm coming into this relationship mm. knowing 
that I am not going to be looking for someone else to meet my emotional, my sexual, mm -hmm. my, my, uh, and, uh, and other needs that are supposed to be met by the person I marry. Mm -hmm. So when you are thinking in terms of I am lonely or I'm horny or mm -hmm. whatever it is that mm -hmm. you are feeling, mm -hmm. you, and, and your wife or your husband is far away, yeah. then you need to understand mm -hmm. that, uh, that if you choose to mm -hmm. go by the way your body feels, mm -hmm then you know you are going to you are going to create havoc mm -hmm. in that relationship mm -hmm. so we need to understand even in marriage what we used to be told as as adolescents mm -hmm. that um, <laughs> that uh, choices have consequences yes. the other day i was talking i was talking in a certain forum and i was saying we have forgotten the issue of cause and effect mm -hmm. in relationships mm -hmm. So here I am, mm -hmm. and, uh, and, uh, and I, have, I have gone through my husband's phone. Mm -hmm. And then now, when I find these Klande things that he's doing on the phone, yeah. what does he do? He tells me, he gets so mad mm -hmm. about me mm -hmm. looking at his phone. Yeah. But you see, there was a cause mm -hmm. that caused me to do what? To, to look, to go look. Me. There yes. is a cause and effect. Mm -hmm. And this is what... Um, now, as, as, I, as I am talking about, how do you deal with your emotional hunger mm -hmm. when you are far away from your spouse mm -hmm. communication in this way mm -hmm. that i am going to be telling my my significant other we are going to have a discussion mm -hmm. honey i am far away mm -hmm. and you are far away mm -hmm. and i am feeling the need to connect with you mm -hmm. and we we have this distance yeah. what should we do about it mm -hmm. have a dialogue mm -hmm. about that mm -hmm. don't go looking mm -hmm. there was a time we we talked at one point mm -hmm. about office spouses yeah you know, you come home, mm -hmm. you come to the office, mm -hmm. and because you are not able to connect mm -hmm. emotionally with your, with your spouse at home, mm -hmm. you go to the office and you have somebody you connect with mm -hmm. emotionally. Yeah. The way that you are going <coughs> to, to figure out that you are on, a, uh, on slippery ground mm -hmm. is when you start to confide in that, with that person about your marriage. Uh -huh. That is the red flag. That so, I am not okay. Mm -hmm. Because if I am not talking to my wife or my husband about how lonely I feel in this, mm -hmm. in this relationship, but there's someone else I, can I am opening up to, mm -hmm. that's when you know mm -hmm. you are really... And now this is uh, opposite sex. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. That's when you know that now, hey, this is slippery mm -hmm. ground. Mm -hmm. And it is going to create a lot of havoc in your relationship. Mm -hmm. There is also something else that uh, Willia would like to, for people to understand. Mm -hmm. Many of us, value-wise, we tell ourselves, mm -hmm. you know, there is the values, the, the principles and standards by which we live. Yeah. There is the, what we speak out, mm -hmm. but there is how we act. Mm -hmm. So I am here saying I'm monogamous, I will, you know, only one woman, yes. and then I act mm -hmm. like a polygamist. You see? And I get very upset if my spouse, mm -hmm. who is my wife, mm -hmm. This, uh, even I see a little thing that shows like she is interested in another man. Mm -hmm. You see, yeah. So, so there is, a, and and again, you see, if I if I am, that means that I am not reconciled mm -hmm. with who I am. Mm -hmm. I need to question mm -hmm. the if my if my practice and my belief system mm -hmm. they don't connect, mm -hmm. then I need to question myself about I am I living consciously. Mm -hmm. So, if my father was was a polygamous man. If I, am, if I don't take care of that, what is going to happen is that when I get into a space where I feel attracted to another person or I feel that my spouse is not meeting my needs and I am angry and I begin to resent her or him and now I begin to look at someone else, mm -hmm. I will normalize because my subconscious brain has seen that before. And it's familiar. Yes. So I normalize it as it is. That's why uh, people say uh, one thing led to another and here we are. Yes. <laughs> so I want people to understand uh -huh. even with long distance relationships, you need to live consciously. Mm -hmm. Ask yourself, if I make this choice, mm -hmm. the consequences, what are they going to be and how will I manage those consequences? A lot of times there is this... Um, uh, as we as we think about growing our relationships in marriage, there are two things that uh, three things mm -hmm. no four things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Number one is compassion. 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 Mm -hmm. Number two, it is empathy, 
feeling the feelings of another person. Empathy is that emotional connection mm -hmm. with another person that you can feel their pain and you can feel their happiness. Mm -hmm. Many of us, instead of feeling empathy for someone, we normally feel jealousy. We normally feel envy. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we feel angst. Mm -hmm. Because, uh, Kwanini, why are you so emotional about this small thing? Mm -hmm. You see? Yeah. So we, that is not, empathy is not fixing. Mm -hmm. Compassion is, uh, is, uh, is where I feel pity for your situation and I make it better. Mm -hmm. So I, I offer some solutions mm -hmm. to your issue. Mm -hmm. Empathy, no. I am holding space for you so that you tell me how you feel. I validate, I affirm, I feel it with you. Mm -hmm. That is very important for long distance relationship, mm -hmm. that you cultivate that. It's not something that we are born with. Mm -hmm. It's something that we cultivate yeah. and we grow into. Mm -hmm. And that is why the two became one, yes. you see. Mm -hmm. Because now I'm walking with you mm -hmm. and I'm interested mm -hmm. to really get to know you. Compa that's companionship right there. Mm -hmm. Now, number four, number three, mm -hmm. yes. mutuality, mutuality. In, in, terms, in terms of respect. Mm -hmm. Where uh, if I am demanding you to respect me, mm -hmm. to respect my space, mm -hmm. to respect my emotional safety, mm -hmm. then I need to be able to give you that as well. Mm -hmm. So this is what Jesus said, do unto others. It, was it me. was it Jesus who said? Yes. Nisiweke yeah. kwa Biblia. Yes, you know like the, the, the phrase uh, godly, yeah, cleanliness is next uh, to godliness. God it's is, not in say, the Bible. It is not scripture. <laughs> <laughs> but, but it sounds, it sounds yeah. so scripture. Yeah. Yeah. So, so the, 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 the whole idea of do unto others mm. as you would have them do unto you mm. is so important in us being able to, uh, to really connect deeply in our in our marriages yeah. because now i am thinking about you there is the the song or the poem uh, uh, do not seek to be to un to be understood but mm -hmm. seek to understand mm -hmm. do not you, you know that one i think it's called desiderata or something mm -hmm. about looking at the other person yeah. and wanting to make their life better mm -hmm. by being kind and compassionate and, and being uh, respectful of who they are. Mm. Now, I tell couples all the time, because the first year of marriage, you and I know, yeah. because we are married. Yes. You enter into that house, mm -hmm. and you begin to ask myself, yourself, mm -hmm. who did I marry? Is this the same person I was dating? Yes, <laughs> yes. Because uh -huh. now we begin to see the real person. Not mm -hmm. that people are hiding, mm -hmm. but it's when you live with a person, you know there is no. You love, know that love is blind, yes. but marriage <laughs> opens <laughs> your eyes. You know? yes. So now, what I want to do mm -hmm. is to be able to honor mm -hmm. The person I married. Mm. So that if I honor them, mm. instead of trying to change them to think like me and to be like me, the, uh, if I honor who they are, mm. then we can walk together. Mm. Because now I'm not, I'm not judging you, mm -hmm. neither am I looking at you and criticizing you, mm. but I am seeking to understand you. Yeah. And I am seeking to understand how you were raised. Mm. And I am seeking to understand. So I'm giving you feedback mm. that is... Um, that is compassionate, mm -hmm. empathetic, mm -hmm. and really that considerate. Yeah. So I'm not, then you are not putting me mm -hmm. in defense mode. Mm -hmm. Because if the moment I go into defense mode, we can't, fall, we yeah. can't solve anything. You can't so your question. To a point where you can agree. Yeah, so mm -hmm. to your question, mm -hmm. my short answer is mm -hmm. please do not, if you made a commitment, mm -hmm. do not look for another person to, f to meet your needs. Mm -hmm. Have a conversation with your spouse mm -hmm. let it be f uh, an, uh, an opportunity mm -hmm. for both of you mm -hmm. to go deeper mm -hmm. in understanding your needs your emotional needs mm -hmm. and whether you are meeting each other's mm -hmm. needs let me say this mm -hmm. when the couple decides that the, the the relationship is going to be long distance mm -hmm. there needs to be a real conversation about what that will mean mm -hmm. that will mean i will not see you for a whole month mm -hmm. that means that we will not be in the same space mm -hmm. For, so what are we going to do? What is available mm -hmm. for us mm -hmm. to do so that we can, we can be able to uh, keep our relationship going? Mm -hmm. Relationships don't, uh, will not grow unless you are putting work into it. Mm -hmm. And it's not a lot of work. Mm -hmm. Remember how you used to be when you were dating. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the, to the walks, mm -hmm. the talks. Mm -hmm. So create, continue to create interest because we are constantly evolving. So I knew when I met you that you used to have these fears mm -hmm. and we worked, you used to love to do this thing. Mm -hmm. And so now I'm, I'm constantly finding out, by the way, these days, what, 
what is it that is going on in your mind what are you thinking i know you are having struggles at your job mm -hmm. what what are you thinking and i offer you a space to listen we can do that mm -hmm. in long distance mm -hmm. by making but making it a priority mm -hmm. to daily talk to each other. Mm -hmm. Now, we, now this day, there is no excuse. Mm -hmm. You can do voice notes. Yeah. You can do WhatsApp messages. Mm -hmm. You can do uh, what we call uh, video calls. Mm -hmm. You can do all kinds of things. Mm -hmm. There is no, absolutely no excuse mm -hmm. for you not to feed mm -hmm. your relationship. Mm -hmm. Remember, your relationship is an entity by itself. Mm -hmm. Just the way you feed yourself every day, mm -hmm. you need to feed that relationship. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, emotional connection, mm -hmm. I will tell you this, a lot of people, everyone, even children, mm -hmm. they don't need that m much time to connect. Mm -hmm. It's when I look at you mm -hmm. and, and you connect with my eyes yeah. and you give me that five minutes of undivided, con uh, uh, undivided attention, mm -hmm. that, that feeds me. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Yeah. We don't have to have five hours of talk mm -hmm. or even an hour of talk. Mm -hmm. That was when we were infatuated yes. because I didn't know anything about you. Yeah. And I was curious. When we get into a marriage relationship, mm -hmm. we don't need that much time mm -hmm. to connect. Mm -hmm. The intention to connect is what actually feeds us. Mm -hmm. That you actually took time away mm -hmm. to do what? To write me a message. Yeah. You took time away to remind me how important I am to you. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. The problem is we get married and we forget to celebrate each mm. other. Yes. We forget to be curious about each other. To mm. Nazoeana. Mm. And we are not. So every time you do something, uh, you, how can you do that? Instead, who does that? Instead mm -hmm. of doing that, yeah. we are, hey, babe, by the way. Mm -hmm. The tone, yeah. the body language, mm -hmm. and the words you, 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 you choose to use. Mm -hmm. Very, very important. Yeah. So I, I want to tell uh, couples who are in long-distance relationships, mm -hmm. remember the thing that is going to keep that relationship going is how much you feed it emotionally. And emotional connection, mm -hmm. it, it doesn't have to be deep, deep emotions. Mm -hmm. It just means that you listen. Mm. that you give feedback mm. that you don't when you're if you are the one who is away and you see that the mother of your children sent you a message don't blue tick mm -hmm. yes. take that while mm -hmm. you are in that show honey right. i have gotten your message mm -hmm. i can't talk right now or i'm in the middle of something important i'll be i'll, I'll talk, talk to you, to you in a Mm -hmm. That's what we do in business, mm -hmm. don't we? Yeah. Because yeah. we don't want to lose the customer. Mm -hmm. You need to also think mm -hmm. about your marriage in mm -hmm. that way. Yeah. That if you don't connect, mm -hmm. you are going to lose. Mm -hmm. The relationship is not going to grow. Mm -hmm. Because that's what uh, uh, grows a relationship, mm -hmm. is constant communication. Mm -hmm. But then, mm -hmm. the right, mm -hmm. effective mm -hmm. communication. Mm -hmm. See here, Yakushinda Tumuna, did you know, uh, uh, Willy, mm -hmm that when the relationship doesn't have, it's not getting attention, mm -hmm. any attention will work. Mm -hmm. So negative attention, it mm -hmm. will work mm -hmm. because I feel connected. Mm -hmm. See, for what we, yeah. we, we scream at each other and mm -hmm. then we have, we have what? Mm -hmm. Great makeup sex yeah. after that. Mm -hmm. Why? Because we have connected. Yes. So you've got to choose mm -hmm. your connections with your, your spouse. Mm -hmm. Is it going to be connections that are negative or connections that are positive. Yeah. So choose that. And, mm -hmm. and that is what we are told all the time about uh, mindfulness. Mm -hmm. That gratitude and, uh, and thinking in positive ways in every situation to see it as an opportunity to grow mm -hmm. instead of the fixed mindset. Oh, you're not going to with you. Mm -hmm. You see, don't, don't, let's not go there. Mm -hmm. Let's see that our, our partners and ourselves, we are constantly evolving. Mm -hmm. and, it is, and once we put intention into it, goal setting. Mm -hmm. So what is our plan? Mm -hmm. And then the other thing that I can, another tip that I can give long, long distance relationship couples is to be able to every week to do a scorecard. Mm -hmm. Choose a time, mm -hmm. an hour mm -hmm. uh, of your uh, one of the days mm -hmm. and you say today we are going to actually check. So you tell me how am I doing on a scale of zero to 10 as your spouse, mm -hmm. how am I doing? Mm -hmm. And then when they say you are doing a six like that, 
and then you say what can i do mm -hmm. to get to a seven yeah you see mm -hmm. so you are feeding the relationship mm -hmm. you are paying attention to each other mm -hmm. you see mm -hmm. yeah you know talking about uh, uh the connection and uh, having this uh feeding my spouse with uh, the emotions yes. that she requires he requires uh, uh, i'm here thinking eh, can we have a uh, in quotes eh, long distance relationship but yet you're still living in the same house <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> Yes. Uh -huh. In fact, I, last week I did a, I, I did a, a video on my YouTube channel mm -hmm. about coldness mm -hmm. in marriage yeah. and and emotional disconnection. Mm -hmm. And on Thursday I will be talking uh, about I, I do that uh, ask grace on Thursdays on mm -hmm. IG that yeah. is free. Mm -hmm. And it's I'm going to be doing that. Maybe you can give uh, our viewers handles maybe they can follow and yes. uh, see yeah. Yeah. Cool. It's, uh, my 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 IG handle is at g K in Derito. Mm. And then my YouTube channel is Live by Design mm. with Grace Karaoke. Mm. And of course you can you can check my um uh what do we call it? Facebook. Facebook. Mm. You can do that through uh my website mm. ww.gracekaraoke.co.ke. Mm. Yes. I have a lot of information mm. on uh, on relationships. Mm. So so now the yes, you can have a, a dis uh, long distance uh, relationship uh, in the ha same yes, house yes. because it's hard to reach you. Mm -hmm. So when you come home, mm -hmm. what do you do? You get on social media, mm -hmm. you get on YouTube, you mm -hmm. get on the TV mm -hmm. and you you are not connecting mm -hmm. with with uh, with your spouse. Mm -hmm. Or both of you are connecting through the children. So we need to do homework, we need to clean up, we mm -hmm. need to do this. Mm -hmm. But we are not having me and you. Mm -hmm. So because when you think about the family, mm -hmm. Uh, the base relationship of the family mm -hmm. is the couple relationship. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then the second tier of that is the parenting mm -hmm. relationship. Mm -hmm. So most of us we we lose out on the on feeding the relationship mm -hmm. and we it's easier for us to focus on the partnership mm -hmm. because that one you know I'm I'm committed to being a parent you are committed to being a parent mm -hmm. and we do that. Mm -hmm. So but then the 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 companionship mm -hmm. And the personal support may, may lose out mm -hmm. because we have lost, kind of we have, the things have happened, we have lost interest mm -hmm. in connecting deeply. Mm -hmm. Now, this, this also comes into play when it comes to intimacy. Mm -hmm. And um, when I talk about intimacy, I'm talking about f physical intimacy, which is the sexual intimacy, mm -hmm. and financial intimacy. Mm -hmm. So now we can't talk about those two very very okay, important yes. issues mm. in a marriage mm. so so that now we are we are constantly fighting about these two things mm. women uh, on the overall what they will do because a woman's um uh, sexual the first the, the sexual organ for the woman is yeah. the mind yes. and uh, and men who are melancholic mm -hmm. you know who are more intro introspective they also they they, are, they they also deal with the mind when mm -hmm. it comes to sexual relationship mm -hmm. so they will you will hear men who say that uh, they get turned off if they have something that is not resolved yeah. and that can be because of of their personality mm -hmm. women in general mm -hmm. they will feel like uh, if i'm not connecting with you mm -hmm. then if we haven't connected uh, emotionally mm -hmm. then i don't want to have sex mm -hmm. you know don't try to touch me mm -hmm. now the communication about that mm -hmm. doesn't happen mm -hmm. we tend to act it out mm -hmm. so your partner does not even know what is this action mm -hmm. what does it mean so mm -hmm. they make assumptions mm -hmm. you know they make assumptions that you are rigid you, you are asexual, I saw uh, uh, the, th the one that you yes. guys did on that, mm -hmm. um, and uh, low libido and all that. But Kumbe, the mm -hmm. problem is really mm -hmm. uh, an, uh, some resentment mm -hmm. because there is no communication of yeah. what is going on. Mm -hmm. So an example of how you can deal with that is to be able to tell your spouse, you know, Han, when, when, you, when you talk to me in that tone, you turn me off. Mm. I don't want to be intimate with a person who I think mm -hmm. is disapproving of me. Because mm. that is what happens. Mm. Is that when, when somebody talks to you in Madarao or harshly, mm. you feel that they are disapproving mm. of you. Oh. And so I don't want, I don't feel safe. Mm. This is the other thing I want to say. Mm -hmm. Safety, emotional safety in a relationship is so important. Mm. 
So when your partner, in fact, I was saying in my video, if your partner, if you feel that your partner is pulling away from you, ask yourself one question. Mm -hmm. Am I a safe space for my partner? Mm -hmm. Could that be the reason why they are pulling away? Mm -hmm. So for us women who are more choleric, let's say, mm -hmm. we, we, we are harsh. A choleric is like that, hot-tempered, yeah. use harsh words, we mm -hmm. overreact and all that. Mm -hmm. What happens... The man, remember the man has a need to be validated yeah. and to be affirmed mm -hmm. and to be appreciated. Mm -hmm. So what happens when the woman is too noisy, mm -hmm. then the, the, the man is going to feel disrespected mm -hmm. and it, they will go into self-preservation. Mm -hmm. So the, the walls will come up. Mm -hmm. Now, if the man is choleric, they will have a, now the, the fight, mm -hmm. the verbal fight yeah. that can lead into, into now the physical fight. And so, so now that, that is going to be a problem. Women who are more reserved, melancholics and phlegmatics, what they will do is they will go into self-preservation through silent treatment. Mm -hmm. and, and let me tell you, if the melancholic woman decides to do silent treatment with you, oh, oh, poor you. At a year kwa kitanda, you will not feel her. Mm -hmm. She won't. She will just go on. ukimaliza nifunike. You know, there is no, there will be no it's emotion no because there is, there is that, that, uh, that um, uh, uh, self-preservation wall because she's not feeling safe with you anymore. Mm -hmm. The same thing with men. Mm -hmm. When they begin to feel unsafe, they can't speak out. Mm -hmm. They can't, either they are, they are very aggressive mm -hmm. or they are passive aggressive as well. Mm -hmm. And passive aggressiveness can come in terms of instead of going home, I go and hang out with my friends. And you keep quiet, you, you, you pigia me simu na unanikuto. And I will not pick. Though mm -hmm. all those are passive aggressive ways mm -hmm. of, uh, of dealing with dissatisfaction in the relationship. Mm -hmm. So usually couples need to come together. Please don't go to parents. Parents mm -hmm. don't have a way of yeah. helping your emotional mm -hmm. needs. Mm -hmm. Because right now, mm -hmm. there is a difference between when our parents were getting married and what they needed in marriage mm -hmm. and what we need. Mm -hmm. Us who have progressed and we have been open, we are exposed, we are looking for emotional connections. Yeah. My mother was looking for a place to belong. Mm -hmm. You see, mm -hmm. she was looking for, for covering, she mm -hmm. was looking for security in terms of provision mm -hmm. so she can raise her kids. Yeah. The expectations of marriage then and it's the expectation... The same as today. Yes, mm -hmm. it was more transactional then. Mm -hmm. uh, should I say transactional or... Uh, it was more going with with what is expected. Mm -hmm. There was you you get to this point, you get married, and you stay in that marriage, mm -hmm. and you raise your family, and blah blah blah. Yeah. Today, mm -hmm. it is the other way around. Mm -hmm. What have you done for me lately? It's very yeah, it's very transactional now. It's emotional mm -hmm. transaction mm -hmm. that uh, that if you do this for me, the other day I was talking to someone and they said I don't understand. You haven't done one, two, three, four, and you want sex. And I asked the lady, is that is that to say that sex <laughs> is a reward? Yeah. You see, mm -hmm. so we need to grow our relationships mm -hmm. to the point where where we th this uh, whatever wh whatever connections we are looking for sexual connections financial connections social con all those mm -hmm. are things that we are doing because mm -hmm. that's what a relationship is mm -hmm. but a lot of us we don't know just the the basics yeah. of how to do relationships mm -hmm. so we are doing uh, the the hit and miss mm -hmm. or or nasemanga mm -hmm. you you are usually when you when you are in a space where you need to talk you are mm -hmm is not mm -hmm. when he is in a space to talk mm -hmm. the other one is not mm -hmm. so you have to learn how to create mm -hmm. this mutually uh, mutual space and that's why I said couples who are intelligent and who are intentional about their relationship they make plans for it mm -hmm. they just don't wait for things to happen mm -hmm. now when you get home when you get home from work for instance mm -hmm. and you are long distance the first thing you should do is to check on your family how are you people doing? What is going on? And the person who is not with the kids is the more flexible one. Mm -hmm. Because now when you think about it, if, 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 you are in, uh, if you are in a country in Africa, for instance, a lot of people are in Sudan mm -hmm. and their spouses are here with the kids. Mm -hmm. You know, so when, when you have time, when you guys should be talking, when the kids are home and they are doing homework, who is more flexible? Mm -hmm. 
it's the person who is not with the kids. Mm -hmm. So you make the, in fact, I have, uh, there are some couples I have worked with and have told them, why don't you plan to do homework with your kids mm -hmm. on video? Mm -hmm. So you call them, the kids are doing homework. Mm -hmm. you, you remind yourself that it is my, I am a parent. It's my responsibility. That mm -hmm. is going to create mm -hmm a feeling of, uh, of togetherness, mm -hmm. a connection mm -hmm. with your spouse who is having to take care of the mm -hmm. children. Wow. wow. You see? I'm, I'm told that our time is almost <laughs> up. And there's this question we need to answer. Yes. How long can a long distance relationship go? Now, I'm going to say it in this way. Mm -hmm. If you guys are in your 20s, mm -hmm. please try not to have a long distance relationship. Try to stay together until you solidify. Because at, in your 20s and you are married mm -hmm. or you are in a committed relationship, both of, both of you are actually growing. Mm -hmm. So you are in the, uh, in your 20s, you are laying foundations of who you are as an adult. Mm -hmm. So if your relationship is within that, please don't do long distance. It can't last long. Mm -hmm. You need to be together. You need to be able to grow together mm -hmm. in, in, uh, in that. If you are in your 30s, and uh, usually by the time you are in your 30s and, uh, and, and uh, 40s and the relationship goes long distance, it means that you have been together mm -hmm. for a while mm -hmm. and then there was a job or mm -hmm. something that mm -hmm. made you go, go mm -hmm. away. Mm -hmm. the, the long distance, I, wouldn't, I would say that uh, try not to do more than six months away from each other. Yeah, because that's a long, it's, it's such a long time. Mm -hmm. So if you are able to do the, the coming coming to see each other mm -hmm. to uh, within within six months mm -hmm. uh, th that that is usually good because mm -hmm. you reconnect mm -hmm. but the most important is that even with these six months mm -hmm. make sure you're connecting every day mm -hmm. and I say mm -hmm. it is not necessarily a long at we have talked for an hour no 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 mm -hmm. it's that intention mm -hmm. to look for each other mm -hmm. that's the intention that brings the feeling of togetherness mm -hmm. now if sexually if you are needing those uh, uh, sexual connections with your wife that's something you guys need to talk about but you need to accept mm -hmm. that if i do have sex with another person who's not my wife mm -hmm. or my husband it is going to create havoc in my relationship. Mm. So learn how to, to have self-control. Mm. Learn how to deal with your sexual needs mm -hmm. while you are, you are away from your, from your partner. Mm. Figure out how you can do that. If you don't know, seek, seek the help of a, of a marriage and family therapist. Mm. So that together, but you need to do this together so mm. that you, you, get, uh, you, you, you get mutually agreed mm. goals and how you, you can handle it. Mm. Yeah. Usually the problem is that we are not sharing mm. how, what, we are, who, what we are feeling. Mm. And so I just go and meet my needs elsewhere and mm. then you will find out. Mm. You yeah. see? And then now that mm. causes a lot of pain. Mm. Yeah. Mm. You know, the, the word of God says that yes. till death do us part. Yes. What is happening, especially in this generation, yes. that now it is not death yeah. that is making us part, mm -hmm. it is work. Yes. So that is why you find my someone is going to mm. uh, to outside the country. Yeah. What's what's happening? <laughs> now bec because I think uh, we are more open mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. We are more um, we are more exposed mm -hmm. to to the fact that our life is transient mm -hmm. and you can go anywhere. So th that, that's why I say this discussion about, so now what? Mm -hmm. Now that, uh, that we have agreed financially, it will, it will be better for you to take this job. Mm -hmm. um, and and uh, it is harder for us to, so, so I need to also say, you mm -hmm. can take the family with you. Yeah. So, so if you are considering a job outside of the country, Talk to your employer about mm. the family. Mm. You know, what is it, what are the provisions for you to take your family with you? So there are a lot of families that do that. Yeah. They just relocate mm. and go and, uh, and live in that country. Mm. But there is also the issue of um, maybe it's a, it's a contract for a year. Mm. And then the family might look at it and say, but uh, if we just relocate for one, one year, year and yeah. then I'm coming doesn't back, it doesn't make sense. Mm. But what I will say is that it would be good to kind of look at that one year mm -hmm. and figure out if the the company can allow you mm -hmm. to bring your your family to come and see you mm -hmm. while you are there or for you to come home mm -hmm. uh, in intervals mm -hmm. yeah so so the 
the, the, the until death do us part mm -hmm. is, uh, is, is something that, of course, now we have to be realistic that mm -hmm. it's not happening. There are a lot of things in laws do us part. Mm -hmm. but, yeah. but also I think will, really, mm -hmm. is that uh, a lot of people are getting into marriage without thinking mm -hmm. through it. Yeah. So they are getting into marriage because we got pregnant. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and last week I was talking in one of my segments and I was saying, I know I may sound very old fashioned, mm -hmm. But please, uh, nini, push sex kule mbele, mm -hmm. you know, after six months of go knowing each other. Mm -hmm. Don't bring it up here mm -hmm. in front. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, when we think about uh, courtship, mm -hmm. dating comes before courtship. Mm -hmm. Dating is yes. me getting to know who mm -hmm. you are. Mm -hmm. So that now, we, by the time we decide we are going to get married, we are not being pushed by circumstance. We are actually making a logical an informed decision because mm -hmm. now when we get pregnant after one month after we met mm -hmm. then the circumstance is going to cause us to make a decision yeah. you see mm -hmm. so so allow yourself to live by design mm -hmm. design where you want to go it mm -hmm. happens all the time mm -hmm. and and it is a better way to reduce mm -hmm. now the the, the the thing that you are asking until the death do us part mm -hmm. that does not even mean that if people plan mm -hmm. they will they will be more successful. Mm. Again, you have to grow mm. in your relational skills, mm. in your emotional intelligence, how you manage. Emotional intelligence is basically mm. how you manage your emotions. Mm. There are a lot of people, if they get mad and they act, they, that is immaturity, emotional mm. immaturity. Mm. Anyone who is listening to, uh, to me, and then wewe umevunja simu yako kwa sababu umekasirika alafu unaambia bibi ati wewe ndio umenifanya nifanye hivyo mm -hmm. you are a much, uh, you are immature, immature. Mm -hmm. that is a child state those are what i call adult temper tantrums Aha. You never grew up from being t to having uh, terror time. You see? <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> the last one. <laughs> you have said that uh, at least it should take at least 6 months. Mm -hmm. And so maybe there is someone who is watching us. Yes. And uh, he or she is saying, my man, my woman has been away for the last yeah. five mm -hmm. years. Yes. <laughs> but why are you away for five years? Mm -hmm. But you, it is you know, happening. Yeah, I know. But mm -hmm. does that mean that, uh, why? Why mm -hmm. are you away for five years? You know, that, what that's they do? Then they need to have a conversation. Mm -hmm. Me, I would like to know. Mm -hmm. Why are you away mm -hmm. for five years? In in terms of five years, it means that that uh, you are, you have never come yes, back home. Yes, you never come back home. Then I need to know why are you away for five years? Mm -hmm. And then number two, I also want to know is there anything that can be done? Mm -hmm. Because that is too long. That mm -hmm. relationship now, what kind of relationship is that? Mm -hmm. You know. So I want to know. Uh, you are away for five years. Does that mean that you never come home? Mm -hmm. You are not seeing your family. I mean, it would be unnatural for us to think that you are not going to try and find someone to mm. meet your relational needs. Mm. So, so yeah, that's a, that's a, for me. If uh, somebody is away for five years, mm. I, I think they need to see someone. A, a professional to help them mm. navigate that. Mm. So I know that sometimes when people go outside of the country, uh, they may not have the opportunity to come back because uh, because if they come back, they can't go back, mm. you see. Mm. So that is the question I would ask. What are your priorities? Mm. What are your values? Mm. What, are you, what do you want to accomplish? What are the goals of this relationship? Because mm. if you are away for five years, there is no relation. Well, mm. there is conversation. But, but really, I'm, mm. I'm, I'm also wondering why five years? The other day, I, 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 there's this family. Yes. Their, their father, he's in the U.S. Yes. And uh, I think he had taken two two years mm. before coming home. Mm. Mm. But uh, when he came, mm. instead of coming to his home, mm. his family home, mm. he went to his parents' oh. home direct. Okay. So the parents are in Eldoret. Yeah. The family is in Nairobi. Mm. So he comes, mm. lands at JKIA. But goes to Eldoret. Yes. I, your relationship is going to shida. Mm -hmm. So me, uh, what I would say is that there is a problem, even if they haven't identified what the problem is, mm -hmm. because then the, the, the man does not feel com uh, connected with his 
his wife. Mm. Because the first place you go. So there is this thing of belonging, really. Mm. We get married because we want to feel we belong somewhere. Mm. So if him going away, and he was away for two years, mm. that means that he never uh, nurtured mm. the relationship with his family. Mm. If he has children, even the children, he couldn't go to say hi to the children. You see what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, so, th so that means that mm. the relationship, mm. that long distance relationship died mm. while he was away. Mm. So, so the, and they were not able to rekindle mm. the relationship. So if I, if I am avoiding you, mm. that means that I'm not, I don't even want, there is a lot of bitterness in there. Mm. And uh, probably the, the unhealed hearts and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't think it's just because it's long distance. Mm -hmm. I think it, it is what happened mm -hmm. in the long distance period yeah. that there was no nurturing of that relationship. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much, much for coming. coming. <laughs> yes. ah, I, I feel like we need to do <laughs> part, uh, two. part two of this. <laughs> because there's so much that have been left uh, unanswered. Yes. And so we need to create time and come and talk more about this. Mm. Uh, long distance relationship. But thank, thank you so much for coming. Yeah. Uh, kindly, you can give us your parting shot yes. and also you can give out your. Oh. Uh, social media handles and how people can get in touch with you. Absolutely. Well, uh, listener, you have heard me. Long distance relationship can can work, and they 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 are no, they have been known to work only if you are intentional in putting work into it. Relationship need like the way we need air they need communication and openness and they need to connect so you cannot connect in a relationship unless you are putting work into it so i hope this has been helpful for you if you need to talk to me i uh, you can find me at www.co uh, gracekariokie.co.ke or you can reach me uh, through ig at gk Nderito, or you can reach me on my, my Facebook page is uh, Grace Karaoke Middle Dash Nderito. And I have also a, a business page there that uh, is called gracekarioki.co.ke. And I'll be glad to work with you. And my YouTube channel, uh, Live by Design with Grace Karaoke, you will find a lot of good information, both on mental health and relationships. So I am. Uh, it has been a pleasure to be hosted here today. Thank you so much. Yes. And that marks to the end of our tonight show. What is your take home? What have you learned? And if you're out there and uh, you are in a long distance relationship, to miambua, mezisita tafalali, rudi nyumbani, wangalia familia. So thank you so much for joining us. And if you have not yet gotten yourself a copy of my book, Couples Will. We want to write our love will while we are alive. So kindly get in touch with me. There's a number running down there on the screen. You can call that number and we'll be able to plan how you get yourself a copy. A copy is going for 1,000 Kenya shillings only. You can also find me on Facebook, willikinyash underscore couples will. And also kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel, willikinyash. Yes, just check out willikinyash and you'll be able to see... Uh, my YouTube channel. And so this is Wema TV, the voice of hope. And this is Couples Will Show. And this is where we write down our love will when we are alive, for we don't want our love story to be read when we are gone. My name is Willie Kinyash. I'm a Dr. Love. And out there they call me the Undisputed. And for now, ni kwaheria kuonana, tukumbuke, tunafanya elections bila noma. So Tuesday, Amka, Enda, cast your vote, go back home, and let us preach peace. Shalom. Amen.